In September 2018, Excel introduced dynamic arrays to make our life easier by eliminating the need for legacy control shift enter array formulas. If you have used them, you can understand how tricky and painful they were. Dynamic arrays basically can automatically spill into neighboring blank cells and we have already used a couple of them in our course. In this section, we are going to learn about them with some real practical use cases. So let's dive straight in. I personally use the dynamic array functions sequence and random array a lot when I'm generating random data. Let's review a couple of test cases we already discussed. We want to generate some test data for a sales company with the columns ID, date, product, region, price, and quantity. We can use a combination of sequence and random array with a bunch of other functions to generate it in under two minutes. Let's start with our sequence function first. Sequence function takes four parameters as input. Only the first one is mandatory. If we write sequence 10, it will generate a list of values from 1 to 10. Let's go back to the definition of dynamic array. Dynamic array can automatically spill into neighboring blank cells by eliminating the need for legacy control shift enter array formulas. There are three important things to note here. We did not use control shift enter. The output of the formula from a single cell spilled into the neighboring cells and it worked well because the cells were blank. If we specify a value in this range, it will give us a spill error, which states that at least one of the cell in this range of our dynamic array formula is not blank. There are some other possible reasons for spill error. We will discuss them in a later video. If we remove this value, we will start getting the result again. Now the rest of the columns can be easily populated by using date, random between and choose functions. If you need help in populating these columns, you can see my video on random data generation. Let's look at price and quantity. We can populate these two values using random array function, which is an extension to random and random between function. It expects five parameters, the number of rows we want to populate, the number of columns we want to populate. For our case, we want to populate thousand rows and two columns, price and quantity. Let's keep the minimum value as one and the maximum value as hundred. And we will keep the output as integer. Bam, our test data is ready. Sequence function can help us populate dates as well. As we already know that dates are stored as numbers in Excel. For example, if we want to populate three years of sequential dates starting from 2019, we can use sequence function to do that. The number of rows to be populated will be three times 365 plus one for the leap year, which will be 1096. We want to populate only in the first column and the starting value should be 1st January 2019 and we need to step by one. We change the data type to short date and using this series of dates, we can create our very useful calendar table. Let's come up with another scenario where we have the cumulative sum of sales of our product as our test data. So for these 10 products, we want to show the cumulative sum of sales from January to December 2021. Let's generate this data from scratch using our sequence and random array function with a couple of other functions. Let's create our month column names first using date, sequence and text function. We will take the year of the current day we will make our month dynamic using sequence and we will populate it in 12 columns 
because we want to start from January and we want to spill it to December and we will keep the date as one. Now we can use the text function to convert the date to month name and we are good. There are multiple ways to solve a problem. We could have used another formula to generate our month names and that is to create a sequence of 12 columns using sequence 1 comma 12 and now by multiplying this with 29 after that if we apply text function with mmm we will get the same month names you don't have to remember these things by heart you can initially google them as well to generate the cumulative data we can use sequence function since we have 10 rows the first parameter will be 10 we need to populate data for 12 months so number of columns will be 12 let's start with 1 and increase our value by 3 and now we get a series of increasing values which will be perfect to show cumulative or increasing sales we can use both these functions in different scenarios I personally use them a lot for random data generation. We will see some more use cases in our future videos. One important thing to notice when we are dealing with dynamic array formulas, only the first cell where we wrote our formula has the actual formula. If you click anywhere else, you will see that the remaining cells are grayed out. We will discuss this a little more and how to use this dynamic array formula range using hash in our next video.